Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing great. It's your girl Unique Nello. A subscriber sent this picture to me and made request that I teach this. Please, this was how she sent the picture. This is not my work, but I finally got this. So guys, let's move straight to tutorial. Alright guys, so the fabric I'm holding is raw silk fabric and I bought two yards of this raw silk. Please, I want to clear something here. Once you see me doing my hand like this, it means length. And once you see me pulling my hand forward, don't even understand me, and my length is always the stretchy part. Then once you see my hand going forward like this, it is width. Like this is length. Then forward is width. I don't even understand me. So the length of this fabric is 15 inches by 8 inches width. I cut out two pieces for my V-face. I won't be showing you how to make this V-face here. I already have a detailed video of how to form your V-face, you understand? And the um, reason for doing this is I don't want this video to be too long, okay? Why this piece I'm holding is for the back base and the length measures 26 inches by 12 inches width. Alright, I have I'm done sewing and this is the outcome of my turban. Please go to my channel, you'll see videos on how to get this turban cap base. Alright, over to the design. This is 35 inches length by 23 inches width. Please note the stretchy part is the length part. The stretchy part is the length part. So I'm marking out one inch. One inch. Okay? Marking one inch allowance at the tip of this fabric and after doing that this is the front part and this place I'm turning now is the back side of the fabric this is the back side of the fabric and this is half inch foam and the length of the half inch foam is 33 inches by 1.5 inches width for those that have watched how I made the spiral turban please don't be in a hurry to fast forward this video there's a reason for this okay so we are going to arrange this and put your pin there and you take it to your sewing machine and sew on top of that line you marked down. You can see the outcome of it. As I said earlier, if you have watched my formal tutorial, please don't fast forward this video. There's a reason for that. You see vital information there. So next thing I'll be doing now is one inch. One inch. I've marked it and I will also turn it out. Make sure you mark it down. All right. Then uh, please at this point point make sure you you use your pin to hold this tip this allowance this one inch part okay so I'm going to use your pin to hold it to avoid stories why sewing all right so remember this is the front and this is the back this side i'm putting the foam is the back so i will arrange as usual and after adjusting i'll be placing my foam like this then i'll be sewing on top of this line so after sewing this outcome Next thing I'll be doing again is to mark one inch as usual. After marking one inch down, you turn the back and insert your foam. Note the normal process. You adjust and sew on top of this line. Then I will take this procedure and do the last foam. So I'll be inserting four foams. And this is the outcome of mine. So I'll be removing these pins, okay? This pin that I used in holding it and you can see how it looks. So next thing I'll be doing, you can see I got four plates, all right? Next thing I'll be doing now is to hold this tip. Don't be in a hurry to fast forward this video. <laughs> I beg you, please, just hold it this way and sew down. Please, don't fold like this and sew. <laughs> just hold like this and just sew it down. Then after sewing it down, don't fold and sew. Just You can see I'm done sewing and I'll cut out the excess part like this my scissors and i will leave it this way please don't fold like this and sew you know why i'm saying this <laughs> please don't sew all right so i will start forming the plate you can see i've done same on the other fabric i told i cut that piece two pieces and this is it that um 35 inches length by by 23 inches with i cut it two pieces and you can see i got four plates please note this part that i sew this place is on top like this that's the last plate this is one two three and four see how you know the fourth part this middle part where i cut out my excess point that's the fourth plate you can see it so i'll be folding this like this you fold it into two like this i will locate the center 
of this fabric and once you get the center take your pin and press it into the second pleat guys make sure you pierce it put the pin at the center of the second pleat not on the first pleat don't if you get me so once you put it at the center of the second pleat that shows that you've noted the center of this fabric all right so next now we're doing now is to start forming my design please for the other one again you're going to do something here this is the sewn part so it will be your last pleat i don't even understand me so you have one two three and four that joint joint part that's the fourth part okay all right so we're going to face it this way you know we are doing crisscross don't even understand me so we have left and right so the one i'm holding now will be going to the left side don't know if you get me so i'll be locating the center of the fabric again then i'll be taking my pin and i'll insert it on the first pleat on the first pleat all right so guys i'll be forming the pleat now on my dummy head all right so guys please pay attention here if you don't pay attention you mess up your work you know we have this first pleat this second this is third and this is the fourth i be all right so what you will do this first will be hidden inside you make sure that the second one covers the first pleat you understand so the second turns to our first pleat then the fourth one also will be hidden see the fourth one you hide it see let me explain the first will be on that to be hidden inside make sure you push it backwards so that the second one will cover it up don't even understand me so what will now be seen now is the second plate and make sure whatever you are doing is at the center of your top anchor base so guys um that's why i told you pay attention so you don't mess up your work all right so the we are now calling the second one the first one because the first one is pushed backward it is hidden all right so we now have the second as the first plate you now have this as the second then the fourth one there will not be inside again oh god i pray you understand please so you now be push you don't push the whole place that's on top so it will cover it don't know if you understand what i did there we have now one this one is sitting we have one two three i don't even understand me four five and six so the first and the fourth plate is hidden so i'll be taking my u.s sugar my my candle gum any one or your b6000 rub it inside to help you get that firm hood so make sure that all those who you rub your, you see that your B6000, 7000, or your USU gum, or your candle gum, anyone, just neatly rub it inside so you get a neat plate. Or you tack down, like me, I did tack in there. So you can see what I just did. Yes, I couldn't lay hands on this gum when I was doing this um, tutorial. So I just tacked. All right, you can see it. Now I have six plates because you hit the first plate and the fourth plate so guys um i will just use pin to hold this at the back of the turban base i'll just use um what was it called pin to hold it down but i'll set this aside first before doing that and i'll pick up this one that'll be going to the left side all right so this is the way it will be going i don't know if you understand this has the up and the down part okay so this is the down this is the down part and the up you can see the up part so this is the down part we have four plates as usual okay and the up part as well has four plates don't even understand me please pay attention so what i'll be doing now is to start forming the plates again so i'll be inserting this this way you'll be leaving allowance like um let me use my tape to show you why gumming please don't gum everything throughout just leave the hole here and you leave like five inches gap like five inches okay leave like five inches allowance here don't gum everything down because that's where you'll be placing this so this is the one that will be leaving, going to the left side and see the way i'll be putting it inside that plate so i'm going to take the down part the down one not the up one no you could take the down part the down and place it this way inside that hole guys pay attention okay place it this way insert it this way through that hole and you now keep it on top of your dummy head 
You can also call someone to help you hold the other side, that right side. But what I did there was I just used my needle and thread just to tack it temporarily to the tobanka base. I was still losing it out. I just had to tack it there because I, 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 I just wanted to be a temporary stitch there. So I'll be removing this pin, that pin you put down, that pin you use in locating the center. I'm, I removed it. And next thing I'll be doing now is to complete the pleat for the left side. All right. So remember I told you this down part and the up part. I don't know if you get me. So um, you drag this pleat out. We are working on the top part, not the down again. So this is first piece, second, third, and fourth, okay? So you, you drag it out this way. When you place it on your dummy head, like make it to be at the center. Make sure that the pleat lands in the middle of your tabanga base, okay? What, you now, what now you will do is you drag out your pleats well before rubbing your gum as usual. I told you if you don't have gum, just tack. So I'm adjusting the whole thing. And after adjusting, I'm trying to make sure that it falls in place so the pleats will come out. You rub your candle gum here or your B7000 or your USU gum, anyone can serve. But make sure you see the inside. Don't go and rub it at the tip so it, your work won't look rough. All right, so after doing this, you get four plates in front. And make sure you adjust well so you locate the center of the fabric. Then take this to be down and this right one will be on top. The one on my left will be under. The one on my right hand will be on top. So I'm going to place it like this and tack this point. Tack it together. Then you can see I've tacked this point. I've tacked here. I just brought it out from that place. I tacked it upon the cap base because you'll be joining at the back. So this is the back view. Okay. So I'm going to place it this way. I don't even understand me. You can see the one that is under and see the one that is on top. Then you tack it again with your needle and thread. So I'm done sewing with my needle and thread, and this is the outcome. So it remains the covering. So what we'll be doing now is this part is the length, and this is the width. You can see it. So I'll be cut now the fabric, and the fabric for covering this part, you can see the stretchy part. So this stretchy part here is my width, no more length. So my length measures 10 inches, and the width measures 11 inches. Please note, the length is the non-stretchy part. So you'll be folding the length part and lock it up. That length is where you'll be folding. Then you will, after sewing, you insert it. Please, guys, um, I didn't show where I completed this work. Watch this video and see how I cover the back of this turban. If you know, want to see how I finished it, watch this spiral twist turban. To watch this video, the link is, is, is on my description box, okay? So, um, after covering the back just make sure you put your hand this way and tack tack it don't even understand me tack like what i mean is put your needle from here and bring it out here then tack here again and tack here again so here will be firm you can see how mine looks so guys at this junction i've come to the end of this story sorry something is remaining you've not tacked to the top and cut piece i'm sorry so what we're doing is you tack here then tack here, tack this center part, you understand? Make sure everything is seen, you know, tack here again and tack this point. Guys, this outcome of mine. Thanks for staying up to this time. Love you all and see you next time. Bye.